Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So those of you who have come before know that I did a lot of uh, videos on, uh, on Cosmo, but I realized today that I never really talked about the cubes and there are two important things that we need to know about the cubes. The first thing I want to talk about is a cube numbering. The cubes look similar, but they have a different number from one to three. And that's very important when you start to do some coding. So in Code Lab, for example, let's have a look here at a new, uh, a new project here. And all I want to show you here is a couple of examples on the side. If you look at Drive, okay, and here, for example, Dock with Cube number one. You can select here one, two, or three. That's one example. Uh, look at under action actions here uh, on cube number oh and I clicked on that that's fine on cube number uh, spin the lights that color again you can select the cube number so how do you find the cube number and that's not clear at all the first method that is difficult, I'm going to show you the difficult method first and the easy method after. If you pick up a cube and you look under where the screw is, there is here on this side, and I'll try to focus here, on the left side of the cube in that corner, you see a number two. So this is cube number two. Now, this is a difficult method and not the best one because when you do some coding, if you are like if you are on the grid uh, and that's possible in uh, in constructor mode, you want the cube to stay there and you may want to pick up the cube and move it like five centimeters from this one. So when you do your coding, you don't want to move the cubes. So the easy way to find the cube number is to look at the graphics. So this one here looks like a pepper clip. This is cube number one. This one here looks like a, a table a lamp or a work lamp or a desk lamp. This is cube number two. This one here looks like a baby in, uh, in a um, baby like a car seat. This is cube number three. Now, if you cannot remember which one is which, just go by simple to difficult. A pepper clip is very simple. There's only one component one part this is cube number one the most difficult obviously item here is a baby and trust me I had a few of those they're very complicated billions of parts this is cube number three the most complicated item the one in the middle with a couple of parts is cube number two the table lamp so this is how it is easy to remember which cube is one two and three the second thing I want to talk about is batteries. As we know, our friend Cosmo is rechargeable on his station. But the, bat the, the cubes are not rechargeable. They have batteries. So let me show you something here. So you just need here to remove this screw at the bottom. And then you just open it like this. It's on a removable hinge, as you can see. And now you have the battery inside. So this is... Depending on the countries you live in, this is an N battery. It's actually on the side here. This is an N battery, an LR1, or an AM5, or an E90. Now, my point here is that these are difficult to find. Uh, I live in North America and in a big city, and believe it or not, my local hobby stores and electronic stores usually do not carry this battery. So if the cubes die one day, if you play a lot with Cosmo, you will be stuck with no batteries locally. You'll have to order online. It may take a week or two. You won't be able to, to play with Cosmo. So save yourself a problem in the future. And for $10, buy a pack of four on Amazon or eBay or other locations. I bought these on the Amazon, so they're E90. They're good for a few years, and um, that way, if one day a cube dies, I'll have spare batteries. So when you put the battery back in, there is a way to know if the battery you're putting in is good. And uh, this is interesting. As you will see here, as I close the contact, the LED here cycles. 
interesting. So it means that the battery is good and the cube was reset correctly. So these are the two things I wanted to mention today about the cubes. I hope you will find that helpful and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day everyone. Goodbye.